Hello and welcome to the Holy Spirit's Curriculum of Joy podcast. My name is Wanaka Oberhuber and I am your host. Today, let's start with a blessing. May all be blessed towards whom we feel grievances. May all be blessed towards whom we feel love. May all be blessed to whom we have no specific feelings. And may all be blessed, all be blessed. It really is a challenge at times to decide to bless rather than be unhappy with or annoyed with or angry at, or blame, or feel shame, or be attacking towards others or oneself, or even towards anything. It's not something you need to attack yourself about, even if that's what you're doing a lot. Even then, you need to accept that that's part of what you are going through. And there is no, no good reason to continue. Love is much more powerful, much more to the point. Love can see through all these illusions, all these false idols that are leading to feeling depressed, unhappy, or even angry, or any other type of feeling that is uncomfortable. Yes, speaking of that, this is not like I feel comfortable with it or even want to necessarily. Yet spirit insists that we speak of what is, yeah, dark, but not by reinforcing it, but by looking at it with spirit. Looking at what is keeping us from experiencing the joy, the love, the beauty, the intensity of being happy that is ours to claim. Yes, the Course is always talking about removing the blocks to the awareness of love's presence. In other words, in A Course in Miracles, it is said that love's presence is always there. Otherwise, there would be no reason to remove the blocks to the awareness of love's presence. If love were not always present, we would have to um, invoke love or draw love to us or make love into something or create love. According to A Course in Miracles, love is always present. Love is who we are. Happiness is our function. So anything else that pops up is based on, a, yeah, as classically would be called a lie. But in A Course, it's called an illusion, not just to replace the word, but because it is an illusion. Lies are purposefully saying something that is wrong, that isn't true. And an illusion is saying things that you think are true but are not. So, what is more apt to fit when you are, yeah, thinking that the present moment, or things that are going on, or the things you're thinking about are not optimal, 
are not perfect, are not good for you or others. Well, so it's the basis for all well-being is in this moment. Of course, it must be based on an illusion. You know, the Course goes beyond that and says it's not only based on an illusion, it's based on the past. Now, basing everything on the past is what has got us to feel so uncomfortable, so unhappy. Yeah. Can we dare to face the present without the mm, recourse to the past? Can we allow the present to be its own representative of itself? Can we bless the past by letting it be and allowing the present to expand infinitely? According to A Course in Miracles, we all can do this. We can all choose love. Yes. Do we feel like we can? Most of the time we don't. Do we believe we can? Most of the time we're saying no. Are we sure of this outcome, of this ability in us to choose love? We usually say no. Why? Because we are so undisciplined when it comes to our mind, comes to our thoughts. Now, discipline in the usual sense is to force upon oneself something that one believes has to happen in a certain way. At least that's how I am interpreting it at this moment. But according to A Course in Miracles, there's a discipline that comes from choice. Comes from choosing freely. Now the type of discipline that is forcing upon oneself and others can be deemed destructive. Why? Because it is not free. It is not freely given. It is not blessed. It is not coming from a place of certainty, of joy, of happiness of mastery. Though we are not even sure of that, because as long as we are listening to fear, to the voice of fear, that as long as we give it credence has power, but only the power we give it. We are not able to see things as they are. Therefore, the thoughts that we are thinking have no meaning or do not mean anything. They are unhelpful they can hide what actually is there. That's why choosing love is the only way to actually see, actually to be given an interpretation 
that we know is true, that we recognize as true, and recognize as our own, when it is accepted, when we accept it. Holy Spirit, please give us back the interpretation that is true. Please remove all the blocks to our interpreting with you rather than with fear. For we know that your interpretation is the only interpretation that we can actually say yes to, that we actually wholeheartedly can agree to. That's why we pray that we allow ourselves to say yes to love. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful time. Till next time. Blessings.